you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be doing a market talk for you guys. So about a few days ago, I think I made a video going over the huge market crash. And coincidentally, it's gotten even worse. So I don't know if it's the time to buy just yet. So in the other video, I told you that if you really wanted a team, you could buy one. There'd be nothing against it. But it went down even more. And again, I still feel like we should wait for Mud Heroes, in my opinion. Like, I don't know. Things are really cheap. So I did actually end up buying a few players because it's just so cheap. I can't imagine that they'll be this low forever. And again, I want to compete in Weekend League this week. So I figured I'd pick up a few players, compete, and then sell them off next week before Mud Heroes officially drops. Now, I'll show you guys the overall, you know, the overview of the market, the way I like to run this and go over every, my personal opinion on every bracket of the market. And I'll tell you guys even who I bought so you guys can have an idea for why and if they're worthwhile buying right now. I spent about probably like 600k worth on the players. Now, before I get into this video, boys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 8.5k. And the next 9k and the next 10k, which, I, which I've been telling you guys would be a huge milestone for me as a content creator. So let's start, let's keep, let's keep getting the subscriber numbers up. Turn on that noti bell, boys, to so get notified every time I post a brand new video. And drop a like on this video. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Now let's get into this, boys. And don't forget to comment what you guys have been doing with the market. I like seeing what most people are doing. Because maybe I missed something that's important. So starting with the 80s to 81s, like we always run this on this channel. The 80s are at 8k. So that's how you know. That is how you know the market is coming down hard. This is harder than it was even last week when I made the video. This is kind of crazy, to be honest. 82s are 14k that's actually standard but those 80s at 8k are very very low 83s are 20k so 19k these are just really flooded i don't believe that these are that expensive let's see browns yeah 12k but again mostly 14 which is kind of weird but so far the 80s and 81s were extremely cheap the 82s and 83s are a little bit higher than i thought they'd be at let's keep going up though. the 84s are at 30k all right that's what they kind of been sitting at let's see where the 85s are 85s 85s I hate looking for 85s. 36k. So obviously these are very cheap. 36k for an 85 is not bad. And I imagine if we filtered these out directly, it'd be somewhere with that range for most people. Let's see. 27k for some of the 84. So yeah, they are cheaper. And I'll see the 85s. 30k for an 85. Wow. The market is way down right now. This is actually worse than the initial market crash that I saw a few days ago that I, I made a video on. Let's see what we're working with with the 86s. Okay, so, oh, I didn't know Shaquille Barrett got a card. He's been playing really well as of late. Just wanted to look at him real quick. Anyways, got sidetracked there. They're looking like they're at 50k, but I bet if I filter these out, I'll find even better pricing. And I've been telling you guys for a while, right? If 86s fall below 60k, they're good value. If they fall below 50k, they're crazy good value. So let's go see. Team of the week, 50k right here. I don't know what to look by. Heavyweights, maybe? Let's see if we can find anything filtered out a little cheaper. 49,000. The market, I think, is preparing for Mud Heroes. But then again, sometimes this is the issue, right? Most people see it this cheap and they're like, oh, okay, well, Mud Heroes come out, it's going to get even cheaper. Sometimes people pre sell for Mud Heroes to the point where the market doesn't change at all. People already anticipate Mud Heroes come out, so they already did all the selling. So when Mud Heroes drops, there's no selling, there's just buying. Which in that turn, the market could actually start coming up. So you have to remember that too. I think this is so bad right now that it's not going to change that much for Mud Heroes. A few cards, right? Like Gale Sayers and them. Like, they already came down. People are already anticipate, anticipating and selling off in terms of the idea of getting a better card. You can see that clearly with the prices. High-end cards like Shannon Sharp's already going for 295 Like, some cards are really cheap. Willie Brown's like 240 Alan Page 240 People are prep selling already. So, in my opinion, I don't think it can get much lower than this based off that one promo. Maybe slightly, but I think it's going to stay even. I think the market has hit a point where... I think, it, I think the prices are preset. Sometimes people oversell in just anticipating a new promo, and in that case, the market could come up, but I don't think people oversold too much here. I think we're kind of around where it would have been. But that has been a trend in Madden in the last few years. I always get into this mindset of when the promo comes out, cards will come down. And then people think that too, and they start selling in advance, and then when the market, when the promo drops, I'm like, why didn't the market not go down anymore? It's because it went down a week prior because people were prep selling. But enough of that. I'll get into that as we go into this video more. So let's see, 87s are at 70K. Again, let's filter by veterans to see if that's actually proper. 87s, 87s, 87s. Where are they? 65K, okay. Again, not too bad. 
now is really just the time to buy a team. Like I even bought some players and I'm not, I wasn't really a big proponent of buying players. At least that wasn't really part of my whole memo for this last week. 88s are at 94K. Let's look it up by flashbacks. They are at 91K. Training must be crazy cheap right now. And like, it's unbelievable. Let's see what the 90s are going for. 90s, oh 89s, I mean my bad. 89s are going for, it looks like 125, but they're probably even cheaper than that if you filter them. Let's go see. Legends, 89s, 89s. I don't miss 189s. 112 for an 89 legend. Training is so ridiculously cheap right now. It's like it's crazy. Guys, if you need a training, now's the time to buy it. Maybe I'll make an updated training video today after this one. Just to update you guys. Now the 90s, they're really, really cheap. So the 90 overalls were originally going for like 240 flat. Now they're at 184. Jerry Rice at 199. Let's see what we got here. Alan Page is 249. Anthony Munoz 240. So one of the guys I bought was Willie Brown. Willie Brown is going for now. It looks like 300k. I bought him for 240 earlier. If that's the price, case, I don't have to sell him later. I bought him to play weekend league, and then Alan Page I was gonna buy two because he's currently going for what is it, 249, and he was going for like 340 a week ago when I sold him. I bought Kevin Mawai too because he's going for about 270, and I bought him for 240. So prices are coming actually back up right now. But remember, Legend Fantasy packs come out soon, or they should have already come out for you guys. So should affect things quite a bit. Lawrence Taylor's at 298, guys. I highly recommend you either use your power pass or you purchase him. That's really cheap. Like I said about. I was gonna buy Shannon Sharp for 295, but I didn't want to spend the money right now, and it appears like he's come up a little bit, not too much. This is kind of guys, this is kind of crazy. Like if you guys have been following Madden since a, a few weeks, even a week ago or two weeks ago, prices were way more than this. Like this is like an outlier right now. And that's why I have to anticipate that. I have to suspect that this is because people are selling on anticipation, 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 on anticipation for the Mud Heroes promo. Because there's no way people are panic selling all these good cards right now with nothing new yet coming out in the game. We do get two new legends today, obviously, but I know people aren't panic selling for that guy, or those guys at least. Team of the Weeks are very cheap too, like you just saw Keenan Allen. Although his stats aren't like spectacular, he's already below 200K. He's not horrible for that price. Now we keep coming down to the other guys, like Julio Jones was going for 440, now he's 349. Same with Darius Slay. Lamar Jackson was 470, now he's 400 flat. Brian Dawkins is below 500K. A lot of cards are taking a hit with this. Oh, some other guys to show you guys. Some Redux cards have even come down quite a bit. I saw Michael Vick for below a million coins for the first time today. Let's see if he's still there. Christian McCaffrey's at 206. That honestly might be a purchase at some point for me. I really love McCaffrey. I probably really enjoyed this card. Let's see. Let's see where Michael Vick's sitting at. True Fonts at 380. Sammy Watkins at 496. Oh, did Vick come? Oh, damn. I probably should have bought Vick. Is Vick a higher overall? Is that where? Oh, that's what I'm messing up, right? Fix a higher overall. But Bo Jackson's at 1.3. Still a little bit expensive for a Redux card, in my opinion. Now, if we come over here, Vix at 980k. Like, honestly, I honestly, I contemplated buying it, but I, I can't really justify it, considering I have Lamar Jackson. Like, although Vic is definitely going to be better, price-wise, I think Lamar Jackson's better value. But if Vic comes to, like, 700, 600k, that's going to be a point where I have to consider that it's worth it. See, before, when he was 1.8 million coins, Lamar Jackson was surefire and no doubt the better quarterback in my mind. But now that their prices are getting closer, it's really going to close the gap on who I think is better. And I already have Vic powered up, so it kind of be ideal for me to go that route. Get him up to like a 94 fully powered up, chemmed up with John Madden passing and make a beastly quarterback. But for the time being, I'm going to wait on that, but it's definitely in the cards right now for me. But guys, stay on top of this. The market is definitely on a... I don't even know. I don't know what to call this. The market is... A borderline dead right now but like I said I don't know if we'll go any lower I think this kind of like it's kind of like hit that point of a low point well Mutt heroes initially drops they might come down a, a big like it might come down in a dip for when it first drops and packs drop but right after that I think it'll stay around here I think this is kind of like the norm so you guys could buy now or if you really want to take the chance wait till Mutt heroes but if you need a team now probably is the time for that I'm honestly seriously considering picking up that Michael Vick with the extra coins I'm about to make from selling back uh all those cards I just bought this morning that clearly went up in value. Good thing I bought all those when I did. These cards are crazy cheap. Guys, it is about it for the video. I hope this did help you guys. My personal recommendations. It's time to at least consider buying. De I mean, I would buy. I'm buying a little bit here now. Because I don't think it'll come down much more. But if you guys like to wait a little bit, make sure. I hope you guys sold your team a week ago when I said to sell it. Because now it's looking like if you sell it, you're selling low, low. You're selling at bottom barrel value. 
so hopefully it didn't hold on so i always tell you guys before a promo comes out in prep at least two weeks before always sell everything because if you guys want to wait a week it'll never work because people sell and anticipate and sell like you already know what's going to happen but guys that's about it for the video thank you so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button turn on that noti bell hit that thumbs up button down below if you enjoyed the video best way to show support let's get this video to 200 likes and comment down below what your move is right now with the market i'm out see you guys next video peace